What is up guys, Dave and Billy Joe back again for a trucking vlog and we're delivering somewhere that's 1.5 miles right up the road and something is majorly on fire right now. Where we are delivering, I mean what looks to be where we might be delivering. It's 1.5 miles up the road and there's just something blazing over that way. Like actively blazing. Yeah, it's like a huge smoke column there. Y'all can't really see until we get a little closer. It's hard to see on camera, but I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah, we had to sit at this longest red light ever. Yeah, I think it took forever. We were sitting here like five minutes, guys. At least. Look at that. We saw it from a. She said something about a fire over there is pretty Walmart intense. DC, they say. Oh no, the Walmart DC is on fire. What? The Walmart DC. Oh wow, wow. Those DCs are huge. They too. are. It looks like it's been going for a while. We saw it, guys, like, I don't know, what, eight miles back we could see. I was that like, wasn't a very good move. Lord. Thanks, Chief. Hopefully everybody got out, because remember when those other warehouse Are things you new? happened, people got hurt. Yeah. What are you talking to? Shoot, right Hopefully the place we're going to isn't close to this. It says I'm taking a right in 0.7 miles. Yeah, cut them people down a little bit. <laughs> Lord. It looks like this place is going to be right next to that. They might have it closed off to, I mean, we don't want to drive up in somewhere that's blazing. No, not really. No, you never know if something's going to explode anyways. Yeah. Can't trust that. What is we about to drive into? I don't know, guys, There's but a CFI right there. maybe he just came out of there. He's like, get me up out of here. I'm gonna have to call Tim and be like, Tim, I can't <laughs> deliver this load. Why not? Why not? The building's on fire. CFI, did you just come out of there? Okay, so it looks like we're way before it. Okay. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of warehouses over here I see too. Man. That ain't good. Don't go, you little Geo Metro. Ain't that what that is? A little Geo Yep, it's a little Geo Metro. I don't see those very often anymore. Uh-uh. Yeah, we're turning right here. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen any on the road, so they must all be already over there, I'd imagine. Hopefully all the people get out and there's no injuries or nobody left in there. I'm sure that will be on the news. Yeah. We'll be able to look up later what the outcome was. Yep, there's CFI's. Yep, right. CFI's coming out right there. Pretty easy. Peasy. Lemon squeeze. <laughs> That's actually what the Google review said for this place. Easy peasy lemon squeezy drop and hook. Are you serious? Literally. Yeah. <laughs> I nailed it. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to check in and be back with you. All right, so we just got into the 
place here by checking in, as usual. And I looked up a little information on this over here. It is a Walmart DC that's on fire. There was about a thousand employees in there at the time. Uh, obviously the firefighters and everybody are there. Firefighters, fire, firefighters rushed in to try to combat the blaze, but it was too strong and they had to retreat and do like a defensive position to try to keep it under control from outside. Two firefighters were unaccounted for, which led to a few tense minutes, they said, but now all employees and firefighters are accounted for and uninjured. So that's good. And they said supposedly the reason they had to retreat to a defensive position because water is in so short supply here. I don't know. That's what I just read on the news about it while we were checking in. But yeah, supposedly it's really bad. So how long has it been on fire in this area? I'm not sure it said, but it said they're gonna be Con trying to control it for the next 24 hours wow. and the article was like an hour ago so yeah I figure this thing's just gonna keep blazing they said about maybe 24 hours until it's um, died down enough to be able to combat it because right now it's just too strong yeah those so, places those DCs are huge they're huge and you gotta imagine just everything is burning in there do they have any idea why it started or no? no it didn't say on any of the things um, yep so anyways guys, we're due to pick up a load out of here too. And unfortunately it's not ready. It was due to be picked up tomorrow at 11. Yep. And it wasn't ready. We were hoping it'd be ready early because this is a drop and hook, but they did say you can bobtail out and bobtail back in tomorrow. So that'll give us some easy parking. And you know, it's always nice when you go bobtail. Maybe we can get some good food or something, Billy Joe. Who knows? Yeah. There's plenty of food around here. There is. We just ate though. We did. Yeah. We just ate that. All we ever think about is food when we're bobtail. Even if we're already full, it's like, oh, we're bobtail. Wait a minute, we just ate. <laughs> I mean, it makes any day better out here when you get a really good meal. It does. It really does. All right. Flippin' nailed it, son. Done. Now we bobtail into the truck stop.
a peanut bottle before we go? I'm gonna leave don't, that in there. No, you're not. I'm gonna leave it in there. No, you're not. Yes, I am. People don't pee in bottles out here. All right, Billy Joe, we're bobtail now. We're gonna go run down to the loves. We're gonna take the easiest spot to back into. Yeah, I should probably just take two spots. Two spots, yeah, in the middle on the line. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> Going back up for you, Chief. He had plenty of room anyway. He did. Oh, middle of the line. This guy didn't have his blinker on. Oh, he's going the other way. He said, gonna get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Crank that wheel. I like how you turn the wheel. I like how fast the long tail goes. It's jumpy, though. It is. I want a job where I just get to ride one of those little carts around. I want a job where I just get to ride the little carts around. What do you think they do? Oh, they're fixing stuff. They get to fix little flags and stuff like that. It's amazing, this guy. Yep. There's nothing to do today. Yeah, look like he's doing something. I remember in my apartments I used to live in. I swear, I used to always see the maintenance guy just looking busy. He'd just ride his cart like back and forth, back and forth, without going in anywhere or fixing anything. He's just hanging out. He's probably just watching everybody, make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be yeah. doing. Do you know what those guys do too? If there's a pet deposit for your apartment, they go and see if they see any cats or dogs looking out the window. And they know which apartments didn't pay the pet deposit. That's how they catch you. And they go tattle on you? Yeah, I'm going to board up my windows next apartment I get when I have a cat. So if my cat can't look out the windows. Oh no, here comes PETA. <laughs> can already see the comments now. Don't take up the easiest spot when you're bobtailed. You can't leave your cat in there with the windows boarded up. They have to look out and be happy. You just have to hide your cat food every time yep. you take it in. But yeah, we're just joking guys if you didn't catch the drift because some people don't. Anyways, that thing's still just a burning. That is pretty bad. 24 hours, they said, they're gonna monitor it. But everybody's okay, so it's a good day. What do you think all the truckers have to do with the loads they can't deliver? This load is gonna be full down the road. Oh my God, the loads is, I, I didn't think about that. <laughs> all the truck drivers would have had to leave there. Where are they gonna go? Yeah. The loves. And there's always lots of truck drivers at Walmart, DC. Yep. I wonder how it's gonna go today. Unless like, they have to take the load back to the shipper. Yeah, because DC is obviously going to be closed indefinitely. It is, yeah. They'd have to take it back to the shipper, but I don't know. It's hot in here, I dear. Oh, and the AC is on. Oh, our truck's broke. <laughs> God dang it, it's not blowing cold. I know. Let me turn it off for a minute. Oh, no. It really isn't blowing cold. Oh, no. And it's 80 degrees outside. No. Why is there always something? It's always something. We've had the worst luck with trucks, dear. Yeah, we have. Swing it wide here, dear. Yeah. This bobtail might take out this yield sign. I know. <laughs> There's nothing to view. <laughs> If you want to join CFI, go meet, meet Billy Jean at the truck stop. Billy Jean at the truck stop. Uh, in Wyoming, Center, Wyoming. Best outro ever, guys. But yes, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. But yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Hope y'all enjoyed it. It was a crazy fire there at the Walmart DC. Hopefully they get that rebuilt back soon, but we're glad nobody was hurt. As always, if you'd like to join CFI, go down to the link in the description or here on screen. We'll take you to the Ride with Dave landing page and you can join up. Whether you're new, experienced, or whatever, we'll take you. You can meet me and Billy Joe at a terminal. And yeah, thanks for watching and subscribing. Until next time, peace. Let's take a spin to a foreign place These open highways are calling our name And now it's time for us to escape Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown Escape to a world we don't know Escape into the great unknown